So I want to go through some memories throughout your NASCAR career. So you just look at the photos and, and just think about the maybe a short little story you got from them. So here's the first one. Going back a little far here. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So back in the uh, Joe Gibbs racing days. That's yeah. funny. That's cool. Uh, yeah, that was a interesting time in my life. I thought I was done racing and then uh, got the opportunity at Joe Gibbs Racing, which I wouldn't be here today without yeah. without that, so that was cool. I got to run there. Um, so, uh, just a limited schedule in the K&N mm -hmm. series, and, um, which was fun, being in yeah. really good equipment. We led yeah. the most laps of anyone for the year uh, and only ran less than half the races, so it was yeah. cool. It was yeah. fun. Absolutely. Here's the next one. Similar time. Oh, yeah. My first ever uh, Xfinity Series start right there, or nationwide back in the day. Yeah, um, yeah that was uh, my first ever run. I was very naive at the time we qualified fourth, and I thought that was bad because I wanted to pull so much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, we had a we actually had a really fast car. Um, honestly, legitimately had a shot at winning that race, uh, and I got uh, damaged on pit road. I had to go to the back. Drove drove back to the front, um, past my teammate Kyle Busch, which was. Uh, which was a highlight of that race for yeah. sure, driving through the field, passing him, and um, and then we uh, got caught up in a little mm -hmm. crash between Keselowski and Carl Edwards. But yeah. overall, it's still a cool day. Yeah, a little more recent. Oh yeah, I, just, <laughs> I uh, decided to dress up as Steven Tyler for yeah. the Bristol intros last time. Um, I was a little disappointed. It got uh, rained out, obviously, so they moved the. Uh, what was it rained out? Yeah. So they moved the uh, intros from uh, entering in turn three. I had a better plan for it, but oh, really? uh, still made do that. It was cool. Yeah. Let's see the next one. Oh, that's you cool. David Reagan. Yeah, that was fun being teammates with uh, with David Reagan yeah. last year. Uh, I got to know David really well, and we uh, he's a call him a good friend now. So mm -hmm. David was was fun we worked really well together we had fun with each other on track off track we we had a great time he was uh he really is um he has a lot of knowledge and he's been racing for a long, even though he's young he's been racing for a really long time so uh i could uh ask his advice on a lot of things and he'd help me with a bunch of different situations and he still actually does i asked him a couple questions today so yeah we developed a great great uh, friendship and um, i can ask him for help advice on things because uh to this day um, because if you're not, uh, the day you think that you know it all is uh, is not a good day because yeah. you, you should uh, always be like a sponge and absorbing all the information you can. Yeah, absolutely. Here's your last one here. It was um, Jeff Bond's last win, Martinsville 2015. Oh, yeah. Yep, that was, that was cool. Uh, I remember that race. That was a crazy one. It was, yeah. the, the fans got a good show that day. <laughs> it was a non-eventful race for a long time and then uh, got really wild there at yeah. the end and Jeff Gordon got his win so that was a that was a crazy day and mm -hmm. uh, in general I think we had some issues that race but uh, I always enjoy going to Martinsville and we had Cosmo Motors on the car there which was cool Cosmo's a personal friend of mine and they're yeah. a local company to me so mm -hmm. it's always fun to have them on yeah so looking back on all these memories now how thankful are you to be a NASCAR driver you've had your highs you've had your lows great opportunity struggling times but you, you're able to be a NASCAR driver and have a career so how thankful are you to be here um I don't mean it in an arrogant way or anything, but I uh, I feel like I could go out on the limb and say I'm the most appreciative person in the whole garage to be here. Uh, just because I've had to work so hard, it's been come from a humble background, don't come from a bunch of money. I'm a first generation racer. I've had to work the old school way for it and to be here, and I'm glad I've had to do it that way because it makes me appreciate it a whole lot more than it just being kind of handed to me. Yeah. Um, although you envy the guys that can do that, um, I would, you know love to just be in a top ride and winning races but um, I'm having to take a different path and, and uh, do it the old school way but it makes you appreciate it more. Yeah, absolutely. I got a couple photos for Ryan over here. If you can come over here. I got a couple photos throughout your career. Get the shot here. Josh Gene when he thinks Ryan. Here's your first photo. Oh wow. I don't know what we doing. Xfinity there you think? I'm assuming because I'm wearing, oh that's the old bike of stuff. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. Me and Matt We've worked together just about everywhere, whether it was TMG, obviously here, BK. Um, so we've had a lot of memories together, and obviously I, I relate a lot to him just because I feel like Matt might have gotten a few more opportunities than I got. And like, I got so lucky to get to the level I was at. And he mm -hmm. says, 
a million times over how lucky he got, and I feel so fortunate to get yeah. to you know where I am today. Even if you told me five years ago I'd be even working and racing with a Cup Series driver, that would blow my mind. So um, it's been pretty cool to work with a good friend of mine. Yeah, absolutely. Here's your last memory. Pretty this, good time last year, huh? Yeah, this was to this day probably the coolest race of my life. Yeah. Um, you know, my grandfather was killed back in uh, the early, I think the late 1950s, yeah. um, early 1960s um, in racing, and um, his lifelong dream was to race at the Brickyard. So with Science Logic on board, we were able to do it, and um, we didn't know how long that was gonna last, and fortunately, the chief marketing officer moved yeah. on to a different opportunity um, at a bigger company, and it obviously didn't work out for this mm -hmm. season, but to be able to run at the Brickyard in a Cup Series car, um, I think my Brickyard nameplate is actually getting hung up in my house today. Wow. <laughs> um, so that is literally probably the coolest memory of my entire life, just being able to say I raced in the Brickyard 400. Yeah, absolutely. So definitely appreciate your time, Matt. Yeah, uh, man. No best problem. luck this weekend. Yeah. Thank you. Great memories. Uh, yeah, thank you, Ryan. Yeah, appreciate thank you. It.